Um, Lieutenant uh, Fetterman, Lieutenant Governor Fetterman, you've been pretty vocal about this. Uh, there was a mm-hmm. court case that was dismissed by a judge in Pennsylvania over the weekend, a scathing um, a scathing dismissal where the judge said you you don't have any evidence and it's not enough to overturn one vote, let alone the votes of an entire state. So give us a, a sense of what happens now going forward. The certification process, is it going to happen today? Well, I, I would I, I would just respectfully disagree with you. I wouldn't even call that a case. <laughs> that was and I, I, I publicly mused why. Sidney Powell was dismissed. I mean, like, how is she any less nutty or or uh, off the rails than the rest of the Trump team or the rest of their arguments? I mean, they're trying to make an assertion that the election was rigged and there's literally zero evidence. I keep pointing to the two cases of documented voter fraud in my state, and they both involve Trump voters, quite frankly. So this idea that somehow we need a better attorney when you're trying to argue something that is as untrue as one plus one equals three is utterly astonishing to me. So certification is proceeding uh, according to plan. You have major counties all across Pennsylvania, uh, Allegheny, Montco, York County, Lackawanna, Luzerne. All these counties, Philadelphia is coming too. You know, all of these counties are weighing in. And the bottom line is is that everybody, and especially from the president on down, very much knows how this movie is going to end. You know, this thing about Hail Mary passes, you have to have some time on the clock. They're they're running Hail Mary plays when there's no time on the clock. It's, it's, It's utterly bizarre. You also have to be holding a ball in order to throw that pass. Yeah, they don't even have, even have a ball in their hands. <laughs> Lieutenant Governor Gilchrist, the other way that the president seems to be going at this is by inviting prominent legislature, legislators from your state over to the White House. I know that the Republican head of the state Senate said that they're not going to overturn the will of the people, but there have been some rubble, rumblings that other Republicans might try to throw a wrench in things. Even if they do that in the certification process, is it going to matter? Well, the state board of canvassers in Michigan is meeting right now, and uh, I expect them to certify the election results that have been certified by all 83 counties in Michigan. The truth is the Trump administration is really trying to beta test their election stealing strategy in Michigan. They invited uh, state legislators to the White House, and it's not a coincidence that after coming out of that meeting, uh, they started talking about potential constitutional crises. And so you got to really watch what these Republicans are doing, not just the words that are coming out of their mouths. But we expect the process to work. The people of Michigan spoke decisively. And Donald Trump lost this election by more than 150,000 votes. The people don't want him to be president of Michigan. The people don't want him to be the president of the United States of America and the Board of Canvassers in Michigan. I expect to certify the election results so that we can seat our electors and move forward, just like the country needs to move forward. This applies to Pennsylvania as well, applies to the rest of the country. But but what do you need in your state to convince the Michigan voters who voted for Donald Trump and don't believe that the election was fair? What do you need to convince them that our system is fair, that our system works, and that Joe Biden is the rightful president-elect and will be the rightful president on January 20th? Well, you know, I don't think that Donald Trump or the Republican Party, for that matter, is capable of of discontinuing their disinformation campaign. But what we need to do is focus those of us who've won elections, including Republicans who won elections in the Michigan legislature, now it's time for them to get to work. It's time for all of us uh, to step up and meet the needs of our people. And I think that's what's going to ultimately show that government can work and still will function. And that's what's going to happen in Michigan. And Donald Trump can just keep lying, uh, but he'll have less of a megaphone to yell into once he's no longer the president on January 20th. Beyond rhetoric and beyond just people not believing in the system, there are actual consequences for what is happening right now uh, without a transition, but also without uh, firm leadership at the top about funding. And let me read something, uh, Lieutenant Governor Fetterman, from a paper in Pennsylvania, Morning Call, about $600 million of road and bridge product projects funded by the Pennsylvania Department of Transportation across Pennsylvania will stop on December 1st unless new sources of money can be found to keep them going, a veteran state senator said. Monday morning. So infrastructure is a serious issue. It's one that this president, I mean, held a number of weeks to to honor uh, over the over the four years of his 
uh, administration, but infrastructure didn't go anywhere. Funding didn't really go anywhere. What do you need right now to, to, to keep your to keep Pennsylvanians safe? It's, it's important to keep those bridges intact. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, I mean, like the bottom line is, it's like if, if they want to go visit the White House, I'm like, go, dude, it's not going to change anything. You know, we just had a coronavirus outbreak in the PA House uh, late last week. And, you know, the situation on the ground is math and reality. I mean, I don't know how else to convince anybody other than math and reality. And in terms of this infrastructure, then trying to block the certification of those votes would by the Constitution, our legislative term expires on November 30th. So if they block that certification, which they will, but if they did, we wouldn't have a Pennsylvania House of Representatives and half our Senate would be missing too. <laughs> so they would literally, it's a circular firing squad they've assembled of Republicans trying to simultaneously block the very certification that would create the two power chambers for Republicans in Pennsylvania governance. So it, it's utterly illogical. And that crisis you just mentioned is actually real, and it requires real leadership right now. And we are continue to fight amongst ourselves by denying math, which I've said, math doesn't care about your feelings. Road projects don't care about <laughs> your feelings when you get done. And the Republicans are going to fall in line eventually. And again, I understand they have to pander to the lunatic fringe elements of their party. But everybody, everybody knows that Joe Biden won Pennsylvania and Michigan, and that he's the president-elect. And it's just a matter of time. It's, it's a certainty at this point where, where we're going to end up. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.